G'day everyone, well, Mark here, just looking through my feed today on YouTube and um, I see that there's this, uh, this channel, um, it looks like it's only just starting up, but um, it's called uh, Auditing79. 133 subscribers now um, what he's done is he's posted up um, a, a clip which anyone with half a brain can tell it's auditing Britain old AB the original G of, of UK auditing and um, what he's done is he's shown just a, a section of it now I'm going to go through just the shortened version it's about eight minutes and um, button when appropriate to show you what my thoughts are just for complete clarity and so AB actually gets credit for this because there's nothing on Auditing 79's channel saying giving AB credit for this credit is needed to be given where credit's due so Auditing 79 just something to learn it's all a learning process but um, make sure you put your credits and your descriptions of where the videos come from and my sort of analysis or comment on what I'm about to watch here I'm going to be putting the link to Auditing79 as well as the uh, the link to um, AB's original video which was shot four years ago um, and it's called Defacing the Flag I believe just let's see what it's called Defacing the British Flag GB okay 1.3 million people have watched that video and uh, that was yeah four years ago and filmed in Northampton. All right, guys. So without further ado, starting from the beginning. Hi. Hello. How are you, sis? Okay. Yeah, uh, filming. Sorry, just chill, man. Apparent reason, Relax. Really. Uh, Nothing's happening. And I just wanted to. Do you have identification on you? Checked out. Okay, I heard what you said, and I heard what you said. Yeah. Is there any reason why you're asking for my identification? Well, is, is there any reason why? You... Yeah, yeah. I have no problem in giving my ID. I'd like to know who you are, so I can bring you through our systems, and why you are filming police officers and police buildings. Alright, I'm just going to stop it there because AB, being the original gangster that he is, knows all of the answers. And he very succinctly puts it to these officers. Quite frankly, he's right. He's a private citizen. He doesn't have to give his details until they've got reasonable grounds to suspect him of something for him to be legislatively obligated to supply those details he's not arrested I don't even think they've mentioned him being detained at this point but um, this is a you know a class top level education that the police are getting around a recording but you know they'll try everything and they do moving on do one question on some do you want to first of all I'll ask you why do you need my identification okay. and then also are you asking me why am I filming uh, I'll have both of those answers. Okay, so my question is why... So why is the officer filming? If there's a problem with filming in the area, why are they um, not taking care or knowledge of that problem because they're currently filming? The question is why do you need my identification? Okay, go for the other one. Yep. You've already... The other one. The other one, like I said to this gentleman... DS, Steve Puddyfoot. Yeah. yeah. What are... yeah. Well done, Detective Sergeant. At least you did your job properly. It is. I go around audit like public buildings or okay. government buildings whatever you want to call them okay. and this is obviously the headquarters I've never been in here before okay. this is the headquarters this is quite quite an important building right of no fact yeah. yeah so I'm just here uh, of course it's an important building yeah. but also we have to think about uh, public security so of course of the public security now they're worried about their own security not the public moving on the force headquarters is this a secure site this is a secure site and I guess you got nothing to worry about <laughs> AB, no, it's a secure site, you've got nothing to fucking worry about, am I breaching that secure site in some fashion, no, <laughs> uh, well it doesn't, it doesn't matter, so under, oh it doesn't matter, <laughs> okay, so the security that he's bringing up as an issue doesn't matter, 
I wonder if they actually listen to themselves speak when that shit's coming out of their mouth, you know? Under sort of Counter-Terrorism Act? We... Under the Counter-Terrorism Act, now AB's about to, to nail him to a coffin on this one by making him say, no, I don't suspect you as a terrorist, which completely takes us, you know, the wind out of those sails. But uh, Section 43 does not say that he is obligated, even if he is stopped and searched under Section 43, he's not obligated to supply any details. And if they truly suspect him of counter-terrorism, there are memos out there by the ACPO and all the rest um, that uh, the, he, they have to contact the counter-terrorism squad if it's legitimate. This is just them throwing what little balls they have around, hoping to catch some flies with them. Moving on. We can actually stop and ask you questions. Uh yes, anyone can stop and ask anybody questions. It doesn't mean those people that are being asked the questions are obligated to answer them. Um, are you suspecting me to be a terrorist? We can, we can also take details from you. you no, you cannot. Not under what you've stated so far. Suspecting me to be a terrorist? I'm not saying that at all. No, no. The, uh, so you're not suspecting me to be a terrorist? Is this is a suspicious kind of act. Okay. <sighs> Oh my God! And is if you're in the U.S., is suspicion a misdemeanor, a misdemeanor, or a felony? Suspicion is sweet fuck all. You must have reasonable grounds, not just suspicion. Moving on. What you are doing? Not yeah. many people come down here to start filming. I understand. So I expect what you. I would like to do. And not many people drive around in fucking panda bloody things, wearing blue suits, thinking that they're above the law. But there's several probably tens of thousands of officers in the UK that do that very thing over in U uh, in New Zealand here it's I think there's only about 12,000 odd active police officers they keep trying to get the numbers up you know 12,000 to 4 or 5 million don't like the chances moving on is obviously provided my colleague with your details so we can make sure that everything's in order. I speak okay. You're not expecting me to be a terrorist, are you? Not at this stage, no. Oh, no, that's perfect. Beautiful. Okay. The other thing now, because you're not suspecting me to be a terrorist, because I'm not committing any crime, I'm not obligated to give you my my uh, my, uh, my details. He's not. Are we agreeing with that, guys? Okay, so. What well, their concern is they're standing there guarding the HQ. Isn't that what the fence is for? You know, they won't answer his simple questions because they know that they're getting more and more pegged into boxes that AB's just brilliantly doing a great job of, of putting them right in their place. But he's using humour and he's using pure logic. Alright, George Carlin was another one like that. He'd tell you things that would be very upsetting but he'd say it in a humorous way and people remember things when it's, you know, conveyed to them in that humorous manner. Sarcasm's overrated. But moving on. What we're seeing here filming. is you feel an FHQ, it's a special well, circumstances, okay? Mm -hmm. So I'll call you in with the necessary grounds to ask you like a separate ter terrorist act. But he said you don't suspect me to be a terrorist. <laughs> Her precautions give them reasons. In other words, word salad, I, I think she's probably a Kamala Harris supporter secretly if she was in the US. Word salad absolutely meant fuck all because he'd just pinned him down to not suspecting him as a terrorist and yet she's still slagging that off. Irrespective of 43, don't have to give you a name or ID. Well, like I said, we haven't said that. We, just, we haven't said that you're not or we haven't said that you are. But you're not suspected. Yeah, and as old, um, oh, I forget his name, it, it, um, as another UK subscriber over there is, um, uh, it, UK um, exposing the tyrants or UK meet the tyrants we don't act on what we think you've got to act on what you do know not what you don't know so it doesn't mean they can believe in unicorns and they're going to go out there and issue orders to shoot all unicorns at sight you know fuck there's a tooth fairy flying around get rid of it you know I, I saw a, a, a bucket of gold at the end of the rainbow do I look rich you know you can believe whatever the fuck you like. We work in facts and logic. Common sense ain't so common anymore, guys. Moving on. Sorry, I'll try not to keep interrupting so much. There's so much in this clip. So what I'm trying to say, you don't have any grudge to think I'm terrorist, basically. At this moment, it's yeah, not. Because right. I haven't done anything you like... You are acting in a suspicious manner. Not really. I just, I'm just recording the headquarters, which is a major building. 
Well, yeah, it is a major it's building. Like, you're yeah. filming, and, you sh and, and would you agree that Big Ben is a big building, a, a like a major building in the country? We do. So we would like. Um, I'd like you to give details to my colleague. If there isn't any problem, then surely um, you wouldn't mind doing that. Do I you? <laughs> and I would like um, a four-course meal and a couple of hundred grand just dropped in my bank account. Do you think I'm going to get it just because I would like it? Again, stay within your remit there, officer, constable, sergeant, whatever the fucking title you want to give yourself. Because once you step into that monkey suit, you have less rights than the general public because you've traded those rights and, and, and privilege or rights that you have to obligations, duties, responsibilities and privileges. And if you're going to downgrade yourself to someone who's providing a public service, then obviously the people asking for the service are the ones that you are to serve. It's not what you want and what the public can give you, it's what the public need and what service you can provide. Best learn your role, and as uh, the laughing auditor would say, wind your neck and moving on. Give you my details, oh, yeah. my colleagues are giving you their details. I'm a special constable speaking for Okay. Okay, uh, can I respond to that? Love this bit, he nails them to a T. As a member of the public, if I have not committed a crime, I'm not obligated to give you my information. As a police officer, if you're approaching a member of the public, it's in within your policy to identify yourselves. Shh, badge number and her name at least. And in New Zealand, uh, the Policing Regulations Section 4 states they must have their identity, you know, when they're out in the public. And um, the Policing, no sorry, it might, might be the Policing Act Section 8 goes on about their ethics, integrity, you know, that's what they should convey to the general public. So I'm sure there's an act about the policing and whatnot in UK. It'll be very, very similar. Moving on. Are we, uh, you is this correct? My name. I can give you my badge number. Okay, which I've asked for, you gave it to me, and I thank you. you. My name well. And I thank you for that. Yeah. Okay, but I am not obligated to do that. Therefore, Good boy, Detective Sergeant. Get a little pat on your back for actually doing something, right? Or, I might not, I don't have to give it to you. Okay then, well I'll ask you, like, I'd like to ask you to move along then. But are we in public land? I don't think he can ask We're me. We're not that. worthy, AB. Well, I was, wanted to ask you, is, is there anywhere I can come and visit the place? Not that I'm aware of. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I can see it's all closed up. Uh, uh, I want to, just a quick question. Oh, I don't need to follow these people. What yeah. the... Uh, officer. Is that your car? Yeah. yeah. Can I ask you not Hello, to delete that, that, uh, that footage, please? Right. Can you ask me? Very crucial bit here. Can I ask you not to delete that footage? Because now, as a member of the public, he's approached the data handler. Um, that data handler has now been on record verbally told that he's going to be making a request. So now that officer is obligated to ensure that it does not get deleted. Of course, the Freedom of Information Act they call over there, or um, Subject Access Request over here, it's an Official Information Act request. Some parties like the IPCA that are non-governmental organisations are not bound by those things, so the only way to do it is to go through getting a court order. Um, but for these guys, um, it's brilliant that he's letting him know straight away. This happened to me similarly when I was uh, recording a COVID station in Massey in Auckland. This chick came up and recorded me and I did an Official Information Act request and the guy just blatantly ignored me. Ignored the fact that I was telling him that the, pub, that, well, the, the Privacy Act 2020 in New Zealand doesn't apply to me. Because it doesn't. It doesn't apply to individuals. I've got the, the, um, the Privacy Commissioner of New Zealand saying that. It's on the channel. So, um, yeah, very, very interesting. But AB does a great job making sure that every step of the way he's hammering the nails in. Can I ask, me to what? Can I ask you not to delete it because I might uh, make a, like a request for it? You won't be able to make a request for this, sir. Subject to uh, access request, yes, 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 I can. Okay, you can try it. Um, yeah, if you're going to do that, you not to delete it. Do that. So yeah. let Ooh, me have your you name. Let me have your name so I can put a note on there no. that you are requesting those information. No, I can do it through different channels. Like how? Huh? Like how? Like uh, I can get through your website, print the Freedom of Information Act. 
Okay, send we'll you the letter. You your information and your details. I will send the information. Do it anonymously. Yeah, and then I will get that. Have your information I will and your get that record straight away. So what I'm asking you now is to not delete it. That's all I'm asking you. Because I can see... Yeah, see, in New Zealand, they've gotten around that little bit of not identifying. You can't do it anonymously. In New Zealand, the Official Information Act, they, have, they, they state that you have to give your name and address to prove that you're a resident and therefore entitled to that information. That's how they get around it in New Zealand. But then in New Zealand, you can't even fly drones over private property without the owner's yes or no. Luckily, it's a little more lax for people like DJE and DJ Audits or Marty or Ryan Rampage or all of, all of the auditors over there. Um, Pure Audits, love all of the work. BP Audits, Hocus, uh, Focus Pocus, brilliant, brilliant, well-educated man. You know, these over in UK, your, your laws are a little bit more laxed. But I looked into doing drones here, and unless it's our own private property or along a public road, you can't fly them, and where I live, I'm right inside a military airbase that control all of the all of the air um, from zero to I think it's about 15,000 feet. So, yeah, I've had debates with them in the past. I won't get into that right now. Moving on. I can see it's recording. It is. Yeah. yeah so right. why didn't can it I tell see me what you're recording? recording? See, make sure you're recording me. Well, here you go. You can see your your colleague. Okay, so it's not live stream or anything like that then, you just video recording. It's not live stream, I don't know, you might be live streaming, well, what's the difference? No, I just wanted to know. There's no difference really, is there? Yeah, there is, because if it's live stream, I want to say hello to everyone on YouTube. <laughs> you better say hello. Oh, you're hello. chilling out now, you're chilling out now. See, that's much better. He's fishing. Well, you're looking a little bit stressed out to me, ago. Yeah, but I'm always fishing. There's nothing happening here, like I said. Also, you know, I don't know who called you, he just called you for no reason, just wasted your To be fair, it's always suspicious if someone has got a video camera in their hand yeah, yeah, yeah. and a phone videoing police headquarters. Well, all of you officers better make sure you don't have your cameras on when you go to police headquarters because that could be considered suspicious. Now let's bring children into it. It's a school exit. Yada, yada, yada. Get the fuck over it. First of all, very first question to any of these moronic, ignorant idiots of the law should be, where are you deriving your expectation of privacy from? Because that's what it boils down to, this whole consent and all the rest of it. Where are you deriving your concept that you have some sort of privacy while standing out here in the general public areas or publicly accessible areas? So, moving on. No, you can, to be honest, I'm not here to record the school, but even if I was, it doesn't make no difference, to be honest. Exactly right. But I'm not here for the school, if my father makes you feel any better. So why are you here for the police headquarters? Just to, like I said, I'm here to audit the headquarters. Okay, are um, you a government official? I'm a government official? Yeah. I don't have to answer that. I'll take that as the answer is no, then. No, I didn't answer. Okay. So I'll take that as a no then. I did not, you don't need to take a description because he's recording me right now. No, we're taking this. The other one they like to use is, are you refusing? To refuse is to reignite something. You're simply declining. It's a bit of a letdown for them. Get the pun intended. But never refuse anything. And if you want to be accused of arguing, well, of course I'm arguing. Because the word argue means to clarify. It means to make transparent. So... You know, it backfires when you've got your wife and kids that love to argue with you, but <laughs> that's literally what it means. So, argue away all day long. Take oh, descriptions as well. Okay. What's the point? That's for my record. Okay. So, like I said, I'm here to audit the headquarters, and that's all it is. So, I was hoping to go in, but it looks like I, I can't go in. No. Is, there, is there no public access at all? No. What happened? Oh yeah, 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 of course. So I hope you understand. Oh no, you, you won't see me jumping any barriers or th things like that. I'm just, uh, if there is public access, I will enter. If there isn't, obviously, obviously I won't. But I went to Thames Valley headquarters. Okay. They have access straight in. I went in. That's Thames Valley. That's Thames Valley. That's Thames Valley, yeah. So. Do you travel around different headquarters then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, not just headquarters, I just travel around and all these places. Alright. How have you got here today? 
How did I get here today? <laughs> By parachute. My uh, hot air balloon dropped you off. Uber. My feet. There's so many answers, all of which he's not fucking well entitled to. Doesn't matter how I got here. And AB straight away clicks on to He just wants his rego plate so he can find out his ID. AB's too, too damn smart for that stuff. If you're trying to get my vehicle, you're not going to get it. Okay. So I know you, you're trying to identify me. It's not going to happen. Hiding your vehicle, so we are not able to. Uh, first of all, I did not say I have a vehicle, but I said <laughs> no, if asking. you are trying to get my vehicle, yeah. you're not going to get it. Okay. Perfect. You're not going to get that information okay. because maybe I, I did not drive. I know you're trying to identify me. It's not going to happen. What it Always is, in an I value world. my privacy. Yeah. One thing, and we value ours as and well. And I do understand I have rights, yep. and I would like to maintain them. Okay, that's it. Brilliant. And we Exercise. also have the same rights, Which even is? though we're police officers. Yeah. No, you fucking don't. This moment you put on that monkey suit, you don't have as much rights as the general public, because you are now downgrading your status to a servant. Get over it. Okay? You video and us, yeah. we will video you. But whoop de fucking do. I will and request this, that record. You're not going to request this one. I don't care. As far as I'm concerned, the information on here will be sent to our relevant departments and they will try and identify yourself. Wow. So he's admitting that the government will use their data to try and identify someone who's done absolutely nothing fucking wrong. That's what you call a misuse of information. That's a breach, and this guy's fully admitting it. I wonder if he's still a cop these days. It'd be interesting to find out. If anyone knows, please comment. And if you're any kind of... So are you going to spy on me now? Oh, I... I spy on everybody all the time. What a fucking idiot. Why don't you double down on it? All the time. Of course I do. Oh, really? You're spying on the public? How can I spy on people? Simple. By misusing the police information database. or well, the National Intelligence Archives over here at NIA. That's how. Well, you just said to me, you're going to... People are going to spy on you. He just said that. No, he didn't. He said, that we're going... stuff you said, you're going to send this to whatever, yeah. and they're going to find out who you are. So you're going to spy on me. You shouldn't be spying on people, you know that. It's illegal to spy on people. I'm not spying on The government cannot spy on people, you know that. If you don't identify yourself, we need to make sure who you are. Well, like I said... If you go around several different police forces and ask them exactly the same sort of questions, be these... I did it, to be honest, as soon as I arrived, as soon as I arrived. I've all over the UK, you are going around. To be honest, you're obstructing my video, because as soon as I arrived, people just came out straight into my face. And that's the end of that, so he's, it's only an eight minute clip of uh, what appears to be, let me just check the original, it appears to be 23 minutes long, but again, the link for that's in the description. So what do you think, guys? Um, how did AB do? Granted, it's an old vid, but... It certainly puts a chuckle on my face watching him absolutely obliterate these uneducated officers that seem to think they have higher powers once they put on that fucking monkey suit. Um, I would notice it doesn't appear to be any defaced Union Jacks on there, but I totally agree. In New Zealand, there's the Flags and Emblems Act, um, which sort of protects that. Although lately, from the New Zealand Police and Infringement Bureau, they're sending me correspondence with the blimmin' um, LGBTQIA alphabet soup fucking flag at the bottom of them. You know, I didn't, I didn't, that to me shows sort of some sort of bias going on. You know, I found that offensive as a straight white male. How do I know I'm that? Well, because of the children and the wife I have. It's pretty fucking simple, really. It's genetics. So, moving on. Hope you enjoy it. Please leave your, um, your, your thoughts in the comments. Didn't AB do fucking brilliantly? Catch us all later. Bye now.